in this video i'm going to walk you through how to design a very simple certificate step by step like this and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up i want to say a very big thank you to all of you who reached out to me when i wasn't feeling well to say some words of encouragement i really appreciate it a lot of content are coming so let's kick off with this particular one let's go into photoshop so you can actually download certificate frames to help you do this kind of certificate but in this case we want to create it from scratch a very simple one so first things first go to file and then new and then you're going to create a new document i'm going to set my preset to international paper and the size is going to remain a4 i'll click ok so once i have this one i'll go to image right over here image rotation and i'm going to rotate that 90 clockwise or anti-clockwise you just have to have it in landscape like this once you're done with that you come to the layer adjustment right over here and you're going to add a gradient to it i've already set my gradient so i'm going to give you the coordinates which is going to be this particular one over here so this is my first color right over here i'll give you the coordinates right over there and this is going to be the second color right over there you get that and the third color is the same as the first one so you just duplicate the color or you copy and paste it and then you click ok every other settings remain the same unless otherwise you want to tweak it a little bit and then you can try something out but we just go ahead and click ok when everything seems okay for us next off we're going to create a new rectangle so you go and right click on the shapes over here and then you pick your rectangle tool you're going to create a very simple rectangle right over there like that something like this you know it has shifted a little bit but don't worry about that you're going to press ctrl a right over here to select it all and make sure that your move tool is selected so that you can actually make sure that it is centered both horizontally and vertically you can press ctrl d from there when you are done with everything now we don't want the full black color over here so the next thing that we're going to do is you're going to decrease the fill over here to zero percent right click and go to the blending options here and you're going to add a stroke to it you later get to understand why we're doing this and you're going to set this to about six seven anyone that works perfectly fine for you eight i think eight is fine for me and then i'll click ok now let me try to zoom in so that you get to see exactly what we did right over there so this is exactly what we did next off i'm going to duplicate this particular rectangle so i'll press ctrl j right from here on windows and i'll press ctrl t to transform it so i'm going to transform it something like this to be very small like that and i'll double click on it so i don't want it to remain the same then as this one so i'll right click on this one and then i'll go to clear layer style so it is going to just clear off the stroke that we added it to that particular rectangle and we want to change the color so you come to the layer thumbnail over here you double click on that and then you can change the color right from here so you click ok and then you realize that this one is already in the middle if you want to cross check it press ctrl a and then you can try to center it both horizontally and vertically and then you realize that it is already in the middle so this is the frame that we're going to use for the certificate and we created everything from scratch don't you think it's so easy the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our test which is going to be very simple i think we should be done in a very few minutes first things first we're going to add the certificate so i'll go and choose my test tool right over here i don't want to right straight into the rectangle so i'll come over here create a new layer on top and then i'm going to left click to start typing something i'm going to use a font called lucky cola i'll leave a link in the description in case you want to download it for free so i'm going to type in here certificate now you realize from here that it automatically picked this particular color that we're using and in case you want to use that you are good to go so i'll press ctrl t right over here hold shift and then alt unless you're on 2019 
or 2020 you can just ignore this and then you press ctrl a you make sure that you center it horizontally like that and then you can zoom in right over here and you realize that the font looks quite good but we want to add up something very small okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl plus j to duplicate the test and i'll drag that duplicated test underneath of the certificate so from there we're going to double click on this particular test and we're going to change the color to something light so you realize that you are using the same pattern of colors so you can come down a little bit light over there and then when you're done you use your move to or perhaps the arrow keys to just push it to the right side a little bit and then if you zoom in like this you realize that it has created something very simple there it's more or less look like a 3d which is not a 3d so you can just basically leave it like that now back to the main certificate the main test you right click on it you want to add a very simple layer style to it which many people don't really use i don't see many people using it it is called the satin so you're going to add a little bit of satin to it but we're going to decrease the opacity and let's zoom in right over here to see how this one so it kind of makes it a bit darker but it looks fine so once you're done with that it is going to serve us the certificate and we're going to add the achievement to it so for that we go for the test tool again and we're going to create a very simple test and you're going to use a font called perpetual titling whatever i, I don't know but it should be here and i'll leave a link to download it in the description so this one is certificate we're going to write of achievement so this one is going to read certificate of achievement so after that i'm going to press ctrl a and select it all and i'm going to make sure that it is also centered right over there simple like that you can actually decide to give this a new color or a different color whatever you want to use so let's try different color like this and this particular font comes with the light and then the bold so you can select it all and try with the bold but i feel like the bold is too bold and you know it's because it is bold and you're going to select the light just like that and try to position it right over here next off i have a test right over here this certificate is probably presented to so that is who the certificate is being presented to so i'm going to select that make a duplicate of this particular test and then i'm going to drag it over here so everything else is going to be test 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 and copy 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 so i'm going to select it or press ctrl a and make or paste it over there select it all again and i'm going to change the font to acrobat so acrobat right over there and you can actually give this one a very dark color so it will look more or less like dark but then it's it should be something like the color the gold that we're using so i'm going to push this down a little bit like that and i'll go and pick my rectangle too again i want to create a very simple straight line but i want to make it a bit thick that's why i'm using the rectangle so i'll create the thick line over here something like that and i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is aligned horizontally so i'll press ctrl d and you can push this one down a little bit because that's where we're going to put the name of the one that the certificate is being presented to like that but i feel like this one is also a bit light so let's choose the regular over here and it looks fine over there so next off we're going to duplicate this particular one again so you press ctrl j and then you drag it down here like that you go back to your test and i have this particular test so you copy that and then right over here you're going to paste it if this feels a bit big you press ctrl t and then you can transform it right over here like that so that is how it actually goes and you want to make sure that some of the parts especially the actual thing this is for like an apprenticeship type of certificate but you can as well use it for corporate or any other thing you just have to replace everything that is on here and then you're going to select this one so you make the part that this certificate is about more relevant so you're just going to choose this one and select this to bold so that it can stand out from the rest of the test and perhaps the date or something like that but 
the thing that it is about here in this case dressmaking it has to stand out so you can actually do it like this and you're good to go so let me just select these two and try to bring it down a little bit so that we'd have enough space to add the name the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this particular rectangle over here by pressing ctrl j and we're going to drag it down like that so you press ctrl t and then you can close it up so you carefully place your cursor at the very end you hold alt and shift and then you can drag it over here this is where the person issuing the certificate is going to sign and then i'll go back to my test and i'm going to duplicate that drag it right over here and i'm going to add any name to it so a name like innocent right so i'm going to add like innocent keyboard thing right over here and i'm going to select this one and change it to semi bold to make it a little bit big and i'll press enter into bracket say master right so i'll add master to it and i'll just push this one down a little bit and i can just make this one a little bit bold all right so from here you're going to select the two that is the master's name perhaps or in this case me myself and i and then i'm going to push this one up a little bit over here so you're going to just sign on top of the rectangle over there after this one i'm going to print and sign it my own and that will be practically it but you know we are doing this for a kind or a specific niche or let's say a specific kind of job dressmaking is it a job or no it's actually a profession so the profession and we need something to actually symbolize it and if you're doing this for a corporate institution perhaps you can represent it with something that speaks of it so inside here i've got two things i've got the sewing or sewing machine i don't know how it is even pronounced i'm just going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop like that and i'll place it at the extreme left here hold shift and then alt i downloaded the png file because i didn't want to waste much time okay so i just place it over here and i'll leave it right there and to spice up the certificates i just got this particular modern gold circle metal badge from google okay and i can drag and drop it inside of photoshop at the left here and i'll press c to you know cut off this particular vector stock but a very huge shout out to them and all right reserved to them i'll double click on that i'll go for this particular thing called the magic one tool over here i'll make a selection here hold shift select the rest of the parts i'll double click on this one to unlock it and then i can go ahead and press delete to delete it once it is done that way i'll right click and convert it to a smart object so that it doesn't really lose its quality so once you're done with this you can easily move this to the main certificate that you're working on just to spice it up basically this is not like anything and then you if you zoom in right over here you realize that we have some things where you can use the eraser tool to just get rid of it so you press ctrl t to transform it very neatly and i don't really know exactly where it is placed whether the left or the right but it looked very good for me on the right over there so i think you might want to try the left or right something that will work out best for you and then it is going to just spice this whole thing up as simple as that and that will be pretty much it that is how you design a very simple certificate in case the clients ask you to place or input in the name straight from here so that you just go ahead and then you print it out straight all that you need to do is you come on top over here so perhaps you can right click and select the rectangle tool and on top of that you select your test tool and you can choose any font let me try and use the same thing acrobats and perhaps something like extra bold and let's type a name like ofosu hine okay so ofosu hine diner okay let's say that is the name and then you place it over here press ctrl t transform it and that will be it you just push it to the very level of, of that particular rectangle that we have over there let's change this one to bold or semi bold something like that but it should work perfectly fine so 
this certificate is probably presented to Ofosikini and everything else follows and you can just save this and print it out straight that will be pretty much it for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and yes thank you once again for reaching out and checking up on me i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye